rivals. It's this little girl. This one. It's a little girl and her brother. Look how enormous her back feet are. Oh, their eyes are closed still? Yeah. So cute. Um, doing, they're doing really well. Um, they fell out of a nest. The people, it's funny, super nice people. I mean, really kind, uh, trying to do, you know, their due diligence and do its best. They went out and bought a cage and a bunch of food. And there was three and then one died uh, yesterday. So they felt really bad. So they called and said, uh, we need to give us to you. Um, it doesn't mean they won't die with us. I mean, it's right. wildlife, they can die. Um, but um, just so you guys are aware, I do work with about two other rehabbers that are like they're volunteers like we are. Um, and these ladies, uh, they'll help us with the possums, rabbits, squirrels, skunks, whatever. These two little guys, this lady happens to be, she's from Louisiana. Uh, she's really good with squirrels and she's going to take these guys for the next three weeks. We our schedule is going to be kind of crazy. So she's going to just get them really stable and eating well, um, to get them out of the, I would say Fragile. critical age. Yeah. And then we'll get them back. Cause I do want to have a lot of filming for, for the channel and just let the kids have the experience. Um, but these two little guys are doing really well. Uh, that tail. Finn and I fed them a little earlier. You know, there's a boy and a girl. The tail color makes me think they're just Western grays or Eastern gray, but man, they're, they're so big. Huh? Pretty cute. And she's so. a great squirrel lady. She said she's released over a hundred squirrels, yeah, right? Yeah, she's, well, she's raised. Raised over a hundred. Yeah, which probably means like like us, sometimes you, you know, you're guessing yeah. and rounding up and you know, who knows how many of actually, it could be more than that. Uh, and it could be, you know, less, I'm sure quite a bit have died. And she's had some really cool experiences with uh, you know, specific kinds of squirrels in Louisiana as opposed to here, because they're different. You know, there's a different little subspecies, so it's kind of fun. But she happens to really like squirrels, so it's like, well, then let an expert do the first few, you know, critical transition between her mom, right? A squirrel's milk, a squirrel's affection, and then the bottle. And, uh, in this case, uh, I'm using a syringe because I know for a fact they're getting it in. She'll probably get them transitioned over to a bottle by the time we get them back, uh, which should be fine. So, uh, and she took two the other day. And they're doing really well, so it's excellent. So, okay. so I'll see you. So, why the syringe again? Yep, just to get a more accurate recording of how much he's eating. He's eating about five cc's per feeding, and to make sure it's going in nice and slow, because sometimes they'll like if they're once they get used to it, especially, they might start drinking it too fast. And they'll want to aspirate it, they'll get it into their lungs, which can give them pneumonia, which is really bad. It's a way you can lose a lot of little critters. We got a fat little tummy. Then his sister, who's also a good eater, or at least last time she was. We shall see. She had the cute little noises too. Yeah, so for day one, they're definitely aggressive enough. So that's good. How long till they open their eyes? I would say within four days. And how old are they, do you think? Um, probably like 11, anywhere from nine to 11 days. Hmm. Oh, and do we know the story? like? Uh, what happened? Yeah, that in the storm the other night, she said that uh, a nest blew down in their yard, uh -huh. and their their cat brought one in, hmm. and that's probably the one that died, but I don't know that, or it could have been the fourth one maybe, but they went out, found more so. She's not making as many noises as the wood. Huh? Sure will. Okay, yesterday I came out here to do chickens, and I was coming over here to collect the eggs over by these tan lang boxes. And as you can see in my video right now, there's a rock ledge back there. So I went over there because I saw something under it. So this is what it was. Okay, so here I was. Coming over here to collect the eggs, normal, right? 
Looking over there, okay. Got the eggs. And I was coming over here and I saw something under this. And this is what I saw. Now, thankfully this is me filming, not mom. Because mom would get freaked out. It's a snake skin. Which would make sense why we're not getting many eggs. And I haven't seen the actual snake. But as you can tell, it goes under the rock. It's pretty disgusting. Which I like snakes, but to mom, that would be disgusting. So who knows where the... Oh, wait, there's another skin. Where's that? Nope, that's a skin, not a snake. There's another skin right there. Let's see if we see any more. Okay, I'm not seeing it anymore. But that's what I saw when I was collecting the eggs. So hopefully that snake is gone. But who knows? That's probably why we aren't getting much eggs. So this is one of those rough, rough mornings. The kind that make you not really question what you do, but it's just hard to get through them. So when Finn comes in the house crying, you know something's wrong. So this morning she came in just sobbing. We're like, what's wrong, what's wrong? And Chick-fil-A is dying. Poor Chick-fil-A, he's been doing great. And I'll let Aaron tell more of the story, but he was doing great. Um, he was just about to get released to be with the other two deer on Saturday. So we don't really know what happened. And a lot of times we don't, but this was really confusing. But basically he's dying, so poor Finn. I don't want her to give up. While we're in there, Crying and say goodbye to Chick-fil-A, we hear a pounce on the metal roof above us. And we thought it might be the crow coming back for food. But look who it is. Just a cat eating the crow's food. Looks like your cat got smart. <laughs> Figured out a way up. They're smart. It's Sace. Hey, Sace, Sace. Hey, Sace, you're a smart kitty. Wouldn't be long for the chickens will be flying up there once they figure it out. Somebody wants to comfort Finn. Won't leave her alone. Willow lays by Chick-fil-A's cage all the time. And I think Willow knows something's wrong. Good girl, Willow. Go take care of her. Come on, babe. Comes your buddy. Okay, phase two or phase three, I don't know where we're at. Mm -hmm. Basically all the kids are gone, but Finn and I have some time before and after dinner. So we're working on tearing down the rest of it and it's kind of become difficult to get the chickens in at night without that run so we're gonna try to go really quick for the next few days and get this done so I don't want to lose any more chickens um, and speaking of getting them in how are we gonna do that tonight if it's all taken down that's to be determined <laughs> we're gonna have to get real creative but we can do it because it's just me can... and you we're gonna have to pull it off yeah I was thinking we can use those metal things over there yep there's a lot of resources we have that we will have to use to make them trick, like trick them into thinking it's a run so they come in. But we'll work on that later. Okay. Okay, back to work.
poor Morella. Seems to be going downhill lately. Today seems exceptionally bad. She didn't stand up for her morning meds. That's a first. And we notice she's not really eating as much. Sad and frustrating. I feel like we did everything we were supposed to do, Ren. Sorry. Sorry. Kind of get it in your head that the vet can fix anything, but I suppose that's not really true. Yeah. Sweet goat, Marilla. We've noticed the past few days she's just getting thinner. I noticed her hair is starting to kind of come out a little bit. Just a lot of signs of getting weaker. She obviously looks rough. The vet had told us it was going to get worse before it got better, so I was kind of hopeful that this was the worst and then she'd pick up, but maybe she just can't make it through that time, or maybe the worms just didn't respond at all and they've taken over. Sad, sad, sad. All right, on to the next phase. And it's good that we have an indoor phase because it poured rain this afternoon. So Angus and I are building one section at a time. Uh, because it's such a long chicken run, we're doing two sections for each long side. And then we'll take them out there and I'm sure we'll make a crazy family experience of it. Yep. Hopefully Silas will be here to make it entertaining. Sure, he will be hopefully. Uh, so, we're doing one chunk at a time and we're not going to put the wire on it this time until we get it all built out there. So this is our first of four and hopefully we'll get faster as we go. phase we're on maybe four or five maybe. we've lost track <laughs> but it's a new day it's Sunday we've got uh, we left off last night with the two big chunks of the side walls built we are digging in on the third we've got to make four for just the sides alone and Silas said he'd come over this afternoon and help us place them and make sure it's all square out there and teach me how to do this, the end. It's a little bit tricky because one side is intentionally going to be higher than the other. So we've got some drainage and different things. So Silas should be here later. We're on a time crunch. We also have our first Zoom call today at four o'clock oh, yeah. with um, the higher levels of Patreon. We do a once a month Zoom call. So we're really looking forward to that. This is our first attempt, so we'll see if we can pull it off. I'm not the best techie person, but I think we've got it figured out. So back to the project as fast as we can. Yep. This is where Brumby stays when we watch TV. This is how he sleeps. <laughs> you like your place? You like it? Oh, yes. Good boy. Get up. Let's go. Time for bed. Okay, we got chore time, scraps time. Yep. We finished our Monday chores, so we said that we can come give them scraps. Yeah, tell them what Monday chores means. Basically, everybody has their own chore list, and we clean the whole house. Yep, we get it all so done, done at once. Yep. And Finn and I already finished it. You already finished, and it's only 11 o'clock. Okay, so now we got old pretzels, watermelon, peanuts, and, and, and a treat. A yeah. treat. Super, super old cinnamon. Beer. Probably about two years old, I'm guessing. Yep. <laughs> Cleaning out the pantry. So, just like you guys, you have to eat your vegetables first before your dessert. Yep. Let's give them all the healthy stuff first, and then we'll give them a treat. See if they like cinnamon bears. Yeah, we're gonna go in there so we can film better. Okay, I'll follow you. Hello, piggies. <laughs> Yeah, just so they don't. Whoa! Somebody's getting feisty. There we go. Okay. Now run! Run for it! Oh! Hurry! 
<laughs> There's just too many good things around. They don't really care about cinnamon bears yet. Wait till they're oh, their yeah. watermelon's gone. They step on you? Yeah. Heavy. I'm surprised if Gail hasn't heard a growing test. Yeah. Oh, he has. He has. You just yeah. can't really see them. Aren't they kind of in? They're basically yeah, you, they're teeth. They're starting to come out more. Right. They're the teeth that... If you look, though, you can see them. Can I see them? Yep. Oh, yeah. They're starting. Ben, you can actually yeah. see them. They the booty. Yep. These kids are very heavy. It's the worst when they, like, accidentally step on you. Oh, I know. Especially if you're barefoot, <laughs> like you guys usually are. I am. I put on shoes. They weigh more than I'd expect. Oh, yeah. They weigh more than me, probably. And Gil's finally getting bigger than the girls. Yeah, he's a little bit bigger than Nelly. Uh, Nelly's yeah. the tallest, right? No, don't hurt him. Oh, I won't. We don't want to hurt him. It's his back. You guys used to try to ride goats when you were little, when we had goats. Like, you're going to hurt their backs. They're not meant for that. Okay, who wants a cinnamon bear? Who wants a treat? Oh, make her sit. Oh, nope, too much know. watermelon. Dana. We should go to a different area. Huh? We're feeding them a lot of scraps mm -hmm. and food. I think it's just the back thing. I don't know. I know it's better to be thinner than fat, but. Yeah. Don't want them obese. No. Let's head Oh yeah, juicy cutie. She probably likes that. Juicy tangerine. Run away with it, Diane. <laughs> Something about apples. Apples they like to grab and run. Kind of funny. But not Maybe this stuff. Maybe because they're sweet. I think they're the favorite. Oh, I have the stuff we eat. We were just commenting how funny this is. It's our old garden bed. Whatever this plant is, it has only grown up through the cinder blocks. Not even in the middle. What's it smell like? It smells like the sweet stuff we used to come in here and just eat. Oh, really? I don't know what it is. I don't know. There's no um, flower. Nice. It does have a smell. I do. Kind of like a licorice smell. Like taste, a black licorice smell. It just smell. like nothing. You ate it? Don't eat it tiny, if you don't know what it is. I ate a tiny thing. Somebody Nash will know. know. Somebody will tell us what it is. Nash might know. Nash or common. It's, it's not something we've grown in the garden before. I know that. It's some kind of weed thing. It smells really good. Yeah, it's weird. And that stuff's poisonous, right? That Very is, um, they told us what those are. Poke berries, I think? Yeah. We used to mash and them And yes, up. you're not supposed to eat those. Like for camps? You used to mash them up? Yeah. And make like purple paint? Mm -hmm. Ben and I are actually going to make camps today. You're going to make camps out in the woods? Yeah, like right there. You're going to paint yourselves with pokeberry juice? Mmm, drip again. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be the last homeless man in the woods. Yeah. Ben. Here comes Ann. See if she'll sit. Ann the lady said to sit. Ready? Sit. Oh, there we go. See if she... Oh, did she get your fingers? No. Oh. Diana. Hey, sit. No, sit. Anne's chomping away at it. Sit. Anne wants another one. She's the only obedient one. She's still chewing. In the back of her <laughs> They're probably so hard. She'll probably chew on that for a long time. Can I have another one? Dean has to go searching for his. Oh, he lost it. He missed it. It's right here. Maybe put it in your hand and let him get out of your hand so he knows he has one. He'll be able to eat it. Well, he's trying. Oh, he likes it. It's really hard to eat, huh, Dean? Those are they're not fresh and soft. It's really stale. <laughs> oh, ow. Anne just headbutted my leg. Thankfully, they're not too dirty. Sit. He likes it, Drew. He's got some sharp teeth because he's digging into that. Oh, where'd it go, Dean? You dropped it. Oh, now I'll have to find it. Did he find it? Oh, I see it. I see it. Yeah, He'll find it. it. He'll feel around with his little feet. That's what they're good at. Come on, buddy. Where's my cinnamon bear? Rip, he gave up. 
As always, we're gonna say Dad's famous phrase. Yep. Do it. Thanks for tuning in. Yep, here we are at the top of Manitou Incline in Colorado. And everybody just finished their hike. Super proud of everyone. Uh, Sawyer and I have done the incline steps before, so we opted for the bar trail, if you've done that trail, which was beautiful, but really hard. These guys, who, let's see, did it. Um, Angus, Wren, Briar, Carver, and Nash. Nash. All did the incline, breezed through it, no problems at all. Droopy and Nash came in first. Was it fun? Oh yeah, I liked it. Were you miserable even once? Uh, a couple Slightly. times, but Nash encouraged me. Nash is a good brother. And other yes, people I am. I was miserable. I was miserable a lot. Sawyer led the way, but whew, that was hard. So we're here. Meanwhile, at home, Aaron and Finn are uh, carrying on, taking care of the chores, keeping all the animals alive, hopefully. This was a rough, rough video, as you guys know. It was one of the hardest things to lose Chick-fil-A. Um, I don't know why that one hit so hard, but uh, it was just such a cool rescue story and everybody had a role in it and Chick-fil-A was doing so good. And then just all of a sudden, boom, to lose them with no warning and no explanation. That's tough, but there's losses and we know that. So we keep going. And Marilla's not looking good either. All we can, we've done all we can do. We just keep hoping for the best. Hopefully she'll get better. Yep. Brumby's doing good. Yeah, Brumby's doing great. <laughs> very energetic. It's, it's good to have healthy, energetic ones that are very consistent. Say, so he's energetic mostly at church. It's weird. <laughs> it's and not, at home, he's calm. Not where you want him energetic. No, I think because people. Lots anyway, we're taking a lot of pictures in Colorado. We'll be here for a couple more days and maybe... Um, in one of the future videos, we can do a slideshow for you because it's just so beautiful here. If you live here, hello. We'd love to meet you at Chick-fil-A for a Coke. <laughs> Let me know. Email me. And one more time, I don't have a lot of names with me because we're in Colorado, but we just wanted to say thank you again to all of those who have helped us out, whether through just sending us a check in the mail or GoFundMe or Patreon. You are all huge blessings to us, and we really, really, really appreciate it. Hope yeah. you guys have a great week.